Good Sunday morning, everybody. How are you? Um, hope you had a good weekend and hope you have a blessed Sunday. Uh, I hope everything is going okay in wherever part of the world you're at and watching me. I appreciate it. Again, thank you for all your love and support. I am doing so much better. Now, before I was, all I was doing is sleeping and eating like a baby. Now, you know, I guess, you know, with all the medicine I was taking and everything, I'm you know, having a hard, hard time sleeping now because I'm not taking all that pain medicine like I was before. So, so you know, I don't want to take it if I don't have to. So, you know, sometimes I do need it, but, you know, I don't, not, not as much as I was taking. So, but then I had to have it, but I was like, no, I, I got a hard time sleeping. So, but. I had one more surgery to go through, but it's oral surgery. It's uh, called an avioplasty. You know, if you ever heard of it, but when my gums healed after the extractions, the bones popped out in front. So growing up, they grew out. And so the gums got to be pulled back and they has got to be drilled. The bones, the bones have got to be drilled down. So in stitches, and that's another probably couple of weeks to a month of healing. Uh, not doing that right away because I'm not ready for any more pain or any more, you know, I'm just not ready for any more of that yet. But it, I have to get that done or I can't get teeth. So, you know, and, uh, you know, money is always like an issue a little bit right now. So I'm praying to make sure I'm asking God that all he meets my needs with all my bills I have for this month. So but hopefully by October, I'll be able to get that done. So, but keep that in prayer for me. And again, thank you, because I do feel much better, though. And um, keep my grandson in prayer. He's got, he has a broken ankle or broken foot. And now he just found out a week later that he needs surgery. I guess he's been putting too much pressure on it. And he's got, they got to have screws in the side of his foot. He has to have, so, you know, a lot of stress going on for my daughter. So keep her in prayer, too. So, um. She just started a new job in her, in her same company she's been in, but she's going to need to take some time off here and there. And I'm just praying it's all going to work to work out. She's very stressed out and didn't expect all this to happen with him in surgery, you know, and everything. So, you know, time to get him into doctors and appointments and doing all that. And actually with her just starting this new job and the kids are all going back to school and, you know, he's going to need help. So I don't know what's going to happen, how it's going to work out, but. I'm praying that everything will work out. So keep me in prayer. Keep my family in prayer. And I'm here to pray for you. So please leave me your prayer requests below. And let me know how you're doing and how, you know, what's going on in your life. What can I pray for you for? Um, unspoken, you know, requests always. Or, you know, just stop by and say hi. And I know, you know I'm still praying for you. But let's get to the card. I want you to take time to read this. I hope you can see this all right. Start from the top. Okay, I got these cards from, okay, these are, this is a really nice little set. I do like to watch Dr. Charles Stanley, very down-to-earth minister, preacher, very kind man, but very knowledgeable, very wisdom, but they were sending these out for free. I don't know if he still is. You can go to the website, Dr. Charles Stanley, uh, oh, I forgot the whole name, but I'm sure if you Google that, you know. Oh, In Touch Ministries. They were giving these away. So, but uh, a wonderful ministry. So, if you ever see him, he comes on TV or you can catch him on the internet or if you ever watch, listen to him. Very insightful. So, I got these. So, these were nice. Some blessings cards. So, 
Okay, everybody, I love you guys. Prayers for you all. Don't forget, I'm here to pray for you and just here to keep each other supported in prayer because we need that, that power of prayer. Only God can change things and make things work, make things work when, we, when we look like there's, or that there's no other way to make things work or that nothing's going to work. God always makes that way. So you have to remember that. Okay. And that's what I need prayer for, for me and my, and my dear daughter and my grandson too, for everything. Things will work out. Okay. All right. God bless you all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.